Hi there, Vicky here. On today's Craft Artist tutorial, I'm going to show you how to put a full background on a sticker rather than a cutout background on a sticker. So without further ado, let's get started. So first of all, you'll need is a blank page. And then when you've got your blank page selected, you need an image. So I'm going to use this bucket of flowers here. And then what you need to do next is you need to go up to the colour tab. Click on colour tab and make sure the line fill is selected. Then once you've done that, go to the line tab, scroll down to the line thickness bar and click on one point. After you've done that, what you need to do then is go on to your offset tool here, click on it. Then you'll see the slider bar open and then what you need to do, you need to slide your bar to the right. And you need to do an offset line outline on your shape, on your embellishment. Once you're happy with the size, what you need to do then while it's highlighted, go to tools, scroll down to convert to picture, then click OK. So what you need to do next is click off your embellishment and then back onto your embellishment and it will turn your thickness line tab to zero points so what you do then is go back onto one point and while your embellishment is highlighted right click on it scroll down to detach as new item then click on line and then once that's done that you can separate the two images like so you've no need to keep this image so delete it and then with this image here, the outline image, what you need to do then is you need to ungroup it and you need the outermost line. So you can take little bits away and delete and then what it does, it shows you the outline then, which is a little bit easier. So grab your outline, move it away from the rest of your image, highlight all this detail, then delete. And then once you've done that, go to your punches tab and drag and drop it in there, like so. I've already done it before, but I'm just going to show you for demonstration purposes only. So once you've dropped it in your punches tab, just delete the image or the outline on your page. And then what you need to do then is you need to go to your colour tab. Choose a nice colour you want to choose. So I'm going to choose this pale grey that's already in here. I'm going to go up to shapes. I'm going to draw a rectangle on my page. And then I'm going to go into the punches, grab my punch design, drag and drop, and then punch it out. And then what you do next, you separate your images from your background so you need to keep this but get rid of everything else like so then just drag it back onto your page and then click the original image again from your embellishments tab and then drag and drop as you'll see it's a little bit smaller so click on the outline grab one of the corner handles don't use the middle because it'll um, squash it or stretch it in the shape that you don't want it to. So just grab the corner handle and just make it a little bit smaller like so. Just a little bit more. When you're happy with the sizing just select them both together, go to your line tab, go to centre horizontally and then you want to go on to centre vertically. And if you want to, you can put a shadow on it. So I'm going to put a shadow on my embellishment just so it pops a little bit. And there you have it. You've got a solid background sticker. Now you can go into styles and stickers. Then you've got 11 stickers to choose from, but they're all cut out. And I prefer mine not to be cut out. So I hope you like this tutorial. Thank you for watching. And I'll see you on my next video. Bye.